While stock Android is great, it might tend to get a little boring with time. The OnePlus 5 being a developer-friendly phone lets you customize and experiment with a lot of things. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the highly addictive, extremely customizable Resurrection Remix ROM and spend some hands-on time with it. Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech. Let's get started. Note that this requires your OnePlus 5 to have TWRP recovery installed. If you don't have it, here's a card to a tutorial on how to root the OnePlus 5. Check it out. The entire procedure takes barely 10 minutes. So the first thing you do, head on over to the download section in the description. You'll find 4 links there. Hit the first one to download the Resurrection Remix ROM zip file. The next link is where you need to download Google Apps from. Make sure to select ARM64 and Android 7.1. I'm downloading the Pico version. It has just the basic Play Store functionality, no Google Apps like Chrome and Gmail. If you want Super SU, then click the third link. Or if you like Magisk better, hit the fourth link. Once done, connect your phone to the PC and allow data transfer. Now copy the downloaded files onto the internal storage of your OnePlus 5. Back to the phone, go to Settings, Developer Options, make sure Advanced Reboot is enabled. Now reboot the phone into TWRP recovery. Enter pattern if you need to. Swipe to allow modifications. Tap wipe. You can either swipe here or tap advanced wipe. Select Dalvik cache, cache and data and then swipe. Now come back. Tap install, select the ROM, swipe to confirm flash. Repeat the same for Google Apps and Super SU. Once everything's flashed, tap reboot system. There it is, the new boot logo and animation. And finally, OnePlus 5 running on Resurrection Remix 5.8.3 based on Android 7.1.2 Nougat. The ROM is rooted and we have access to Google Play functionality. For those who don't know, Resurrection Remix is a neat looking ROM with a stockish interface, but comes with tons of tweaks and mods under the hood. To give you an idea, let me open configurations. As you can see, you can customize a lot of things the way you want. From the look and feel of various elements on the screen like the status bar, lock screen and so on, to the user experience side of things by adding features like gestures, changing button actions, and so on. Some minor but extremely useful tweaks can be done here, like setting the phone to fire up the default music player when a headset is connected, and changing the resolution of the display by setting the pixel density, and so on. There is no limit but the sky. If you are someone who would love to customize things by fiddling with a lot of settings, this is definitely the ROM you've been dreaming about. If you agree, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to C4E Tech for more tutorials like this. Also do this to make sure you get notified each time a video goes live on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.